What's good y'all, welcome back. Today we'll be reacting to some more social house films. We're gonna be ending the week off with two of their short horror films. Today we are reacting to Under the Bed. I'm really excited because I missed out on two new uh, videos that they dropped, so I'm hyped to watch them. I hope you guys see this reaction y'all been seeing every single one I've been doing. Thank you for the support. Original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into the video. Damn, that motherfucker sound heavy. Come on now, come, come on, there you go. Um, I live alone with no kids. What? Don't do it. Don't look again. Don't do it three times. <laughs> See? I swear. We got movement. Oh, nah, bruh. Nah, bruh, because if it make me want to look back underneath, but then I'm going to look back up. Oh, shit, don't do it again. Please. Prepare yourself. Okay. Oh! Oh! I don't like that. It's not over? Oh, it is over. Yo, they are really good. Social House, another 10 out of 10. I love y'all shit. Y'all shit is so good and so well thought out. Even the short ones be good, but it make me want more. Like I wish there was more to this. All right, so I felt like the reaction was a little bit too short and I myself haven't watched Social House films is like, you know, behind the scenes. So I was like, you know what? We're going we're gonna to add in a behind the scenes reaction to it too. So we're going to react to the making of Under the Bed, short horror film by Social House Films. Let's get into the video. All right. So this week we decided to simplify things and make a super bite-sized short short. Kind of like the Taco Bell of short horror films. Fast, reliable, and delicious. Now, before we get into it, if you haven't already seen our latest short film, check it out now. Anyway, without further ado, here's how we made Under the Bed. That we came up me. with this little idea a few months ago, <laughs> but got distracted by Halloween specials like Happy Halloween and costumes. After Ugh, we made yeah, In the Walls, gross. we both agreed we wanted to do something relatively quick and simple, something we could shoot in a single night, but still delivers all the same scares, if not more. And so we decided to draft up this old idea. The script was less than a page, and the entire shoot was about eight hours. Since Victoria was the main girl, we had our friend Misha come over and play the monster. Just like the short itself, the makeup was incredibly simple. The legs and feet that you see are Misha's real and natural gams. Kidding! Misha has beautiful tiny feet, so I got to work adding some fake toenails and layering on the corpse-colored makeup. The toenails are simply fake acrylic nails that I cut to size and applied with traditional nail glue. The makeup is white clown makeup layered with blue, purple, and green grease paint for the vein. I'm going to say this. Even for like the really short, short film, they take this so seriously. If you try recreating this look and run into any trouble, just keep adding layers until you get the look that you like. Layers will help the veins look like they're underneath the skin. 
The face makeup was more of the white clown paint with a touch of black grease paint around the eyes and mouth. We added a few chunks of the Aztec clay I used to create the monster in costumes, which helped create the appearance that there's flaky, rotting flesh around her cheeks and forehead. Misha took charge of doing her face makeup and did a great job transforming her girlish face into a ghoulish delight. I tried to knock on the door, wow. but no one answered, so just let myself in. She looked like the grudge. Lighting was super easy since we were going for a very naturalistic look. I put our classic ring light outside and but shined like it through less the window. Wet. <laughs> Just to add some dimension, I added a soft light with a blue gel over it in the other room down the hallway. It's subtle, but adds a little something. We started by shooting this shot on the floor when Victoria first enters the room. Since I couldn't get the tripod perfectly floor level, I put the camera on a dish towel so I could rotate it 90 degrees. It's such a simple way to move the camera, but it works quite well. I actually used a dish towel in our other short, The Ice Cream Man, when we had this subtle push-in on the kitchen counter. The constant boom up and down of the camera from under the bed to above the bed was done with a simple cut. First we'd have Misha stand in the hallway so I could film her feet. Then I'd boom up, and then back down. Then Misha would clear the frame, and I'd shoot the exact same camera movement. In the edit, all I did was find a part of the shot where the bed was completely blocking the entire mm -hmm. frame and make a cut right there. Since the camera's moving so quickly and it's all blurry, you can't really notice where the cut is, and so it appears to be a single shot, kind of like a whip pan transition. I use this trick all the time. <clears throat> the only real effect shot was the final shot of the monster. I've mentioned in other videos how I do this, but basically I just motion track the whites of her eyeballs onto the master shot. I also motion tracked her mouth and used a liquify effect to warp the shape of her mouth toward the end. That's it's crazy. very subtle, but adds a little something. In Premiere, I tracked her eyes and mouth so that I could darken specifically just those areas. Makes it all a bit more creepy. If you want to know how to make your own demon face, I have a tutorial on my other channel, Cynical. Oh, that's I'll dope! I'll link in the description. I cut the entire short in less than a day. I'm not even finna lie. He's sick as fuck for this. He's over here teaching people on his own YouTube channel how to do these dope effects for his horror shorts. That's awesome. I, I don't know if other people are doing that, but that's smart as hell. The next day was spent shooting this opening establishing shot and recording some footsteps and monster sounds. <laughs> I thought having pretty much no music would actually intensify the scares, and so I just went through our catalog of hits and stings that Robot Disco Puma put together. Anyway, I know this one was a lot shorter than our other shorts. In fact, I think it has pretty much the same runtime as our first short ever made on this channel, Bedhead but sometimes it's helpful to just go back to the basics and simplify. I kick it down after 10 o'clock because I'm dead tired. <laughs> wow. They even have sick, corny jokes that they say with each other. That's awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, double video reaction. Um, I just felt like it was too short. Social House Films, keep putting out dope content. I'm going to keep reacting to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. I love y'all. Peace. They wanna fall. What? Back when I was down bad, I was stuck in the mud. That nigga didn't clean up Louis V on the so so.